All right, we're gonna send it. Oh! Whoa! What is up, you guys? I hope you all are having a great day. I just wanted to start this video off by announcing that me and Alexis will be at the 2018 Smoky Mountain Crawl. So if you know about Groms and you haven't heard about this, you're probably living under a rock. This is the largest small boar meet in America. I wasn't too sure that we were gonna go this year, but kind of last minute we figured out a place to stay and we're gonna be there. If you wanna get in contact with me while I'm there, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram and send me a direct message over there. But we're gonna be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and I can't wait to meet some of you guys and I can't wait to ride. So I have a lot of stuff to get done before we go, but tonight I brought the pit bike out and we're gonna do some riding. Come on, get off the nip. Since you didn't say anything in the intro, did you wanna say anything? Are you excited no. to meet people too? Yes. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> you know what I think about that? <laughs> Probably because it's all over in here. Yeah. Cool. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Fabulous. You're gonna have smoky mountain poison oh, ivy. I'll be so pissed. I've never had poison ivy. And if I just got poison ivy all over my legs because you told me I could wear flip flops, I'll be so pissed. I did not say you, you could wear flip flops. I don't have anything else with me. Well, whose fault is that? Girls, come on. Step your game up. Always bring two pairs of shoes. I live an active lifestyle. I mean, you know, you gotta be prepared. Always wear protection. Just decided to park my bike in all of this beautiful poison ivy, so. That's gonna be fun. That is now all over my legs. Ooh, that was a nasty bug crawling all over your neck. <laughs> we are currently riding two up on the 110. This is always interesting. Whoa! A little bumpy. This is the path that we have to take to get to the stunt lot, so that's the way we gotta go. Oh my gosh! Hopefully the water is not too high. Oh, it's not too bad. Get a little mud on the tires. On my clean tires. For doodle. These are motocross certified right here. Coming through. Fully street legal. Oh. <laughs> ah. On a smooth pavement now. Alright guys, first long wheelie of the day. Let's see what we can do. Came down hard on that one. Woo I hope that these floors are stable. Hey! Woo! Alright, so Alexa seems to think I can do this hill climb no problem, even though it's probably like a 90 degree slope, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. Oh my god. Dude, that's like straight up. Oh, I should not have challenged him to do this.
Oh, babe, good job. Let me try it again. Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, we're gonna send it. Oh my god. All right, guys, so this is how tall we were. Pretty tall. Always so hard to see on camera, but we'll do it again. We're done here. I think we got enough pool shots. What is up you guys? So it is the next day. It's the day before the crawl. I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. So I'm on my way to Harbor Freight right now to get some last minute stuff. So I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Boom. Picked up some new folding motorcycle ramps for the trip. I'm actually borrowing my grandpa's truck. I didn't want to hassle with hauling a trailer down there. So that's why I got these ramps. I'm excited to see what they look like. So let's go ahead and open them up. Boom! Here it is in all of its glory, the Harbor Freight Trifold Motorcycle Ramp. You can pick one of these up for about $90. I used a 20% coupon on top of that, so you end up with a pretty good deal. Now it is Harbor Freight, so you can't expect much, but from what I've read and what I've seen on these things is that they're pretty good quality. This top plate is the only thing that I had to assemble. Everything else was ready to go. I'll probably show you guys later when we load up the bikes. All right, guys, so it's down to the last few hours. It's time to get the Groms ready to go. I got a couple packages in the mail today, so let's go ahead and open these things up and see what we got. Boom! Renthal 420 gold chain. I've been meaning to do a chain upgrade for a while. Mine is worn out, beat, it's rusted, so this is definitely going to be a nice upgrade. And the cheapest mod I think I've ever done to the bike so far. No, not the feeler gauge. Boom! The JT 14 tooth front sprocket. This thing comes in at less than $10 and I guess it really adds some extra low end torque and it really helps get those wheelies up. I'll go ahead and drop a link to both of these down in the description below if you haven't already. It's a must do. I'm super excited about this too because now I get to have a gold chain on my bike. What? What? They even hooked it up with the rubber gloves, man. I'm stoked on that. Woo! That thing is luby. Is that a word? It's lubed up. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I hate to do this to you, but I won't be installing them on this channel. If you wanna see the install part, go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. I'll drop a link on the screen now and in the description below. If you wanna help support this channel and help it grow to the next level and allow me to do more cool things for you guys, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done really quick and then we'll resume back here on this channel. One eternity later. Oh my gosh, guys, what is up? As you can see, it's dark out sorry for not checking in sooner but i'm just trying to get things done guys it's down to a time crunch i feel like that's just the way it goes that always happens so it's kind of hard to see i'll obviously do a lot more filming this weekend but got the new chain on the sprockets underneath there i tested it out i went on a ride and i was able to do some second gear sit downs for the first time ever there it is yeah Oh, that is awesome. I've been wanting to do that for so long. Really happy with the setup, but then all of a sudden I went to shift down into first and the shifter got stuck. And I was like, oh crap. Like I was like, is there something wrong with my clutch? Is there something wrong with my transmission? So I had this rear set off of here. Well, I actually just loosened it up and pulled it out a little bit. Sure enough, the shifter shaft was just dirty. There was like grease and a little bit of dirt in there. I just sprayed it down with some silicone WD-40. That definitely did the trick. So we're good. 
good to go there. I was super worried about that. But now I have to do an oil change, adjust the valves. I really want to get these heated grips off of there for the summer. I like the slimmer feel. These are a little bit too thick, so I want to have all the control I can get, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get these off tonight. I don't know if you guys remember when I installed these things, but they're literally shoved on there, so... I don't know how that's going to go. I might just have to rock these for the weekend. I was hoping to get more content in this video for you, but you'll have to wait for the weekend. I am super excited, guys. I can't wait to meet some of you. I'll be posting 24-7 on my Instagram, so go follow me over there if you want to see the journey as I experience it. Other than that, I just want to thank you so much for the support. When I get back, I'm hitting it hard. I got a bunch of stuff planned, and I'm really going to start pushing out this content. So thank you guys for watching. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed down below. Turn those post notifications on so you can get notified every time that I post a video. That way you don't miss out on anything. Other than that, I gotta get this done, get some sleep, wake up early in the morning, and let's drive to the Smoky Mountain Crawl, baby! Woo! We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace!